I frequently run across people who believe truth is relative, thinking it depends on your personal experiences and what may be truth for one person may not be true for another. It's the, if it feels good to you, then it must be right concept. And some might even relate that to the old saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So does this mean we can choose what is true and wise in serving God? As human beings, we all have different ideas about what does and does not smell good. The passage upon which this series of videos is based says, dead flies make a perfumer's oil stink, so a little foolishness is weightier than wisdom and honor. That's in Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 1. The perfumer's oil has a universally pleasant aroma, and you might apply some when going out around others. But the point is a contrast between foolishness and wisdom and honor. Solomon isn't saying that if it smells good to us, it must be pleasant. Some like the smell of Parmesan cheese, and others think it smells like vomit. However, that doesn't mean we get to choose what is and isn't foolish. Let's put it like this. Ladies, let's just say you have a guy that you really like and you want to attract him. Would you use a perfume with dead, rotting flies or something appealing, you know, alluring? Even if you like the smell of rotting flies, I think we know that no one else does. Foolishness is the dead flies in this proverb. The sweet-smelling perfume is wisdom and honor. But how do we know what is wise and honorable? Proverbs 2, verses 2 through 10 says, Make your ear attentive to wisdom. Incline your heart to understanding, for if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice, and he preserves the way of his godly ones. Then you will discern righteousness and justice and equity and every good course. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. If God is the one we truly want to please, then we will choose his ways. Or might I say, we'll choose to smell the way he wants us to smell.